So, in this video, we're going to show you how to measure up to replace a double glazed window unit in a UPVC plastic window. So, the first thing you want to do is mark which window is the one that's actually failed. Because sometimes it can be hard to tell. If it's a nice sunny day, you sometimes can't see the condensation within your window unit. So, it might seem like an unnecessary step, but I always find the best thing to do is mark the window you want to replace. That way, you don't forget. Now, the next thing you want to do is locate the back edge of the window beads. So, in this window, it's internally beaded. You can see these beads that go right around the edge. So, in order to measure our glass, we need to, we need to measure from the back of that bead to the back of that bead. I'll show you how to do that now. So, when it comes to measuring double glazed window units in UPVC windows, you always, you always want to measure your width first. This is because most window companies work this way. So if we put our tape measure there, the back of that bead, to the back edge of that bead, we get 440. So we'll just make a note of that. That's four, 440 millimetres. So now we've got our width marked down. I always find it easier to, mark, to measure this in millimetres. Always start with the width. We've got our width first from the back of our beads. So we've measured this from the back of this bead here to the back of this bead here and that gives us our width. Next we're going to measure the height. So we'll work the back of our bead and then we've got eight, one, get your head right down so you can see the actual reading on the tape. We've got eight, two, zero in height. So I'll make a note of that. So as you can see, we've now got our width and our height marked. We've clearly got our number here and our units here, so there's no mistake. And we always measure the width of the window and then the height. One thing we do need to be careful of is this isn't the actual size that the glass needs to be. The glass needs to be less than this, and then it's packed into the right position when you replace the glass. So we're actually going to have to deduct some units from this to get our actual glass size. So now we've got these measurements, we're going to deduct 10 millimetres to give us the actual size that the glass needs to be cut to. So we've got 440, so we'll change that to 430. And our 820 becomes 810. So we always knock some off the overall size. This just helps the glass window unit fit into position. And there's also a black edge around your window unit when that's ordered. So it just means that the black edge of the double glazed window unit is behind this bead. You don't want to see any of the black edge showing on the window. I normally deduct 10 millimeters. It's a good rule of thumb, but just to be super sure, you might want to remove the beads from the window and then you can measure the glass exactly. I'll show you how to do that now. So we're just going to take this window bead off now on the left hand side. So first thing you want to do is take your putty knife and where the back edge of the bead meets the window frame, you want to try and get your putty knife in there without damaging the window. Make sure you've shut the window first. So carefully get our putty knife in there and once our knife is securely in there, all we have to do is lever it off the frame and that bead slowly, if we work our way up, starts to come away from the frame. Once we've got our bead loose, you can get your hands in and slowly, carefully remove it from the corners. And they've removed one window bead. So now we've got our left hand bead Always mark on where your bead came from. We've got an L on there, and then I tend towards try and keep it at the left hand side so I know which is which.
once you've removed the bead on the back of the bead it always helps just write on which side you got it from so we took this from the right side so we'll just put a little mark there right side and then we'll store our bead at the right side of our window so we always know which one's which so now we've removed our window beads we've got access here to our actual piece of glass that we're trying to replace so the beads have been removed you can see the plastic packers that are holding the old glass in place so when we originally measured this when the beads were on we measured from this point here on the frame to this point here on the frame but now we've got our glass exposed we can take an accurate measurement so if you remember before we deducted 10 mil we'll just see if this is it was in fact the right size for the glass so if you look we've hooked our tape measure on and the actual glass size is exactly 430 millimeters so our deduction of 10 mil worked perfectly in this case if you're ever unsure it's always best to take the beads off and measure the actual glass so we've taken our two beads off from each side and our bottom bead we've left the top bead on just to hold the glass in place but obviously now we need to measure the height exactly we deducted 10 mil that worked perfectly for the width and normally in this case i'd be fairly confident that the height would be the same we'd have to deduct 10 mil but just to be certain for youtube i'm going to take the top bead off and measure the exact height of the glass i might just get my knife Are you? Yeah. So now our window is completely free, we're just going to get our measurement for the height of our glass going off the old window unit. So our height there You're not straight. Is, I'm not straight. Your tape measure's not straight. Where do I want to be? Are you still really videoing? Yeah. Good, keep this in. It's always good to have an argument with the cameraman. There. Like, yeah, bottom, move bottom to the left. There. Are you happy with that straightness level? Yeah, that's better. Is that better? So put your eye down to where your tape measure is. I mean, and you'd on... be better measuring it actually at the side of the window, wouldn't you? So you've got a straight line too. Yeah, that's a good tip. I mean, I've never thought of that in 10 years of joinery. But, <laughs> but yeah, you can also measure it at the side of the window. And then you know your tape measure's straight. So we're learning all the time. School as, day. I'm learning as we go. So again, we've got our height there of 810 millimetres, which is exactly what we'd worked out from our calculations. So it's always good to remove the beads to double check, but if you have a lot of windows to do and you don't want to take all the beads off, then you want to you want to try and work out where the UPVC frame rebate ends, which is normally the back of the window bead. So you can see here, when that bead clicks in, this, this is the edge of the window frame and this is the bead. So whenever we're trying to work out our, what our glass measurement needs to be, we've always to try and find the edge of this UPVC window frame, measure the distance, and then deduct 10 millimetres. So now we've got all this apart, we're going to put that back together. We've worked out the size that our window needs to be, width-wise and height-wise. Next, we're going to try and figure out our window thickness. So now we've taken our beads off, we obviously need to put those back on. So you can use a regular hammer that you'd find from Screwfix or B&Q, that's just a classic cheapo special. Or if you're doing a lot of these, you might want to invest in one of these window fitters hammers. So these have like a hard plastic or rubber end so that when you tap the beads back into position, you don't damage them. But I'll do it with the regular hammer and then you can see how most people would do it. First, you want to start by putting your top bead on.
bring your camera into the like top corner. Can you um, see it? Yeah. And then bottom corner. So now we're happy with our width and our height measurements, we now need to work out the thickness of our glass. So if you look on here, we've, we've got our overall sizes from the back of the beads, we've deducted our 10 millimetres so the glass will fit in the frame, and we're left with our actual width and our actual height. Now we need a thickness for the glass. So we'll spin around the outside and show you that. There you go. Okay, well, so we've just spun our way to outside. Right. So now we need to determine the thickness of our glass. So we've got here our glass caliper, which just helps us out in this application. If your window frame has an opener, it doesn't matter which one you choose to measure off because the glass in any given window will be the same thickness in either pane. So we open the window, take our glass caliper, slide, slide it up to the glass, and just have a visual there. So you put it up to the glass. And then you read out here. So here we've got a 28 millimeter thick piece of glass. So if you've not got one of these glass calipers and you don't want to invest in one, you can also use a tape measure and a straight edge. So first thing we're going to do is measure the total thickness of our frame. So we've got our frame here. Sometimes it just has is 70 millimeters in total. So what we need to do then is deduct, is deduct this distance here on this inside from our 70 mil, and then again we need to deduct this distance here to give us our total glass thickness. So if we measure this inside first, we've got 22 mil on our inside, and then on our outside. Again, use your square to help give you a guide. And then we've got 20 mil on the outside. So as you can see on our piece of paper now, we've got our width and our height, which we determined in the first instance. And then we've got our overall thickness, which is 28 mil. We did that once with our calipers, it came out with 28 mil. And then we also calculated it measuring the thickness of the frame and then dedu deducting 20 mil and deducting 22 mil to give us our 28 mil thickness. So how we would write this, if we were ordering our glass, is we always start with the width first. So our width, we've deducted our 10 mil, we've measured it off the actual glass. Our width is 430. Add the millimetres to avoid any confusion. We always start with the width first. And our height is 810. Again, Add your units so you know what you're working to. You might know what they are, but the guy in the glass shop might not. And then we need our total thickness of our glass. Now the best way to represent this, so that the glass shop understands it, is to represent it. Our total thickness is 28, but we actually represent it by four, which is the thickness of a single glazed piece of glass, 20, which is the thickness of our cavity, four. And that's how we represent our glass thickness. So we've got our width and our height, and we've got the size of our double glazed window unit. We've got 4mm of single glazing, a 20mm cavity, then another 4mm. So if you order this as your window, it will fit perfectly. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.